coming from morning, Rabotai, we have two mitzvot in front of us. Mitzvah of Talit and Mitzvah of Tefillin. Gemara telling us that a person is not allowed to pass on the mitzvah, to take the Tefillin first, and then we'll take, uh, take the Talit. For a few reasons why we have to do first Talit and then Tefillin. The, the Shulchan Aruch in Siman Tev, Maran says that we always first wear Talit because there is a concept of a common mitzvah, more frequent mitzvah, and less frequent mitzvah. Anytime you have two mitzvot in front of you, one is Tadir, the second one is not Tadir, it's not so common. Which comes first? The one that is more common, the one that is more frequent. Because of that, says al first Talit goes on a person, and then he wears the Tefillin. Second reason, he says, because we have a concept of Ma'alin Bakodesh. Person always have to be climbing up the ladder of Ketusha. So it says, since Talit is less holy than Tefillin. Tefillin has God's name written in it. Talit doesn't have that. It's only hinted over here in the nuts. But it's not written. It says, because it's not written, the mitzvah of Talit is less holy than the mitzvah of Tefillin. Because of that, he says, we have always start low and we are aiming high. So you're starting from the bottom, which is the Talit, and then you're going up to the Tefillin, which is much holier. Ma'alin Bakodesh, Velomoridin. If a person is going to first wear tefillin, and then he's going to wear talit, he's coming down in the Kodesh. He's not coming up in the Kodesh. That's why we first wear talit, and then we wear tefillin. There is another Kabbalistic reason. It says because whenever we are wearing our talit, we are preparing our surrounding light. It's called Omakif. And then we are putting the tefillin underneath that, which is the openimi of, the, of, of uh, the mitzvah. So a person has to first wear the talit, and then he wears tefillin. But on the other hand, Rabotai, Mr. Babai, imagine right now a person, God forbid, Hamulay Yaakov, he took by mistake the Talit and the Tefillin together. Now he's touching both of them. He Talit he touches, he Tefillin he touches. So he touched already the Tefillin. Right now, what should he do? Should he wear the Talit first or should he wear the Tefillin first? Says the Alaha, because you cannot pass on the mitzvah, you touch the Tefillin. You have to wear the Tefillin first. If you're going to put it down, and take the, tef- the talit, you are making a sin from the Torah. What's the sin? In ma'avirin ala mitzvot. You cannot pass on the mitzvah. Because of that, Rabotai says the halakha, if a person touched his tefillin first, he has to wear the tefillin first. And then he's going to wear the talit for the, the second. But on the other hand, we just said, you have to go up the ladder of Gdusha, not go down the ladder of Gdusha. If I wear tefillin first, then I'm going to go to talit. I'm lowering my Kedusha. Kageta. Says the halakha, even though you are lowering in such a case the Kedusha, but to pass on the mitzvah is a bigger sin. That's a better is. Therefore, a person has to be careful in the morning. First, wear his talit. Take the talit. Touch the talit. Don't touch the tefillin. Put it aside and take the talit out. Don't take the tefillin out. Put it aside and then take the talit out. Don't do that. First, make sure you touch only the talit. Talit should be the one, the first one in, in front of you. Says Rabbi Yosef, what if a person Touch this tefillin. Choymudeos says he has to wear that first. And then he's going to wear his talit. That's a serious it is. It says, but Ovalitzion suggesting a solution. It says, Kabbalistically, it's not good to wear the tefillin first. Choymudeos, he says, put the tefillin down, go to the restroom. Going to the restroom, every person can do a little bit of number one. It's not a big deal. By going to the restroom, you show that it's impossible for, for you to right now to wear the tefillin. So I canceled out. By going to the restroom, I canceled out my mitzvah right now. I, even though I picked up the tefillin first, and Allah I'm supposed to wear it, but I need the restroom. He puts down the tefillin, he goes to the restroom. So like this, he canceled out his behavior, and now he wants to start all over. After the restroom, he starts the right way. Now he's going to take the tefillin, uh, the, sorry, the talit, and then he's going to wear the tefillin. So in case a person, by mistake, you saw him touching the tefillin first, you tell him you have to wear it. I can't, I feel the talit should Go to the restroom. Put down the tefillin, go to the restroom. Go to the restroom, do your number one, Asher Yatsar, Pamo Asher Yatsar, and then he's going to come back and start from the beginning the right way. First the talit, and afterwards the tefillin.